Welcome to the Real Investing Show with Tim Harridge. Each day, we'll provide real investing for everyday investors. Tim is a nationally recognized real estate investing expert, podcast host, and public speaker. He built his businesses from the ground up and is here to help you do the same. Here is your host, Tim Harridge. Welcome back to Real Investing. I'm Tim Harridge. Thank you for spending your time with me again today. Today, Erica writes, what marketing campaigns are best for new investors? I'm going to tell you this. This is a great question. I, the best marketing campaign is the one that you can afford for six months without making any money. Too many people try to shortcut the system. They try to get money now. They try to make money now, right? Too many people attempt to find the magic pill. Too many people overcommit and aren't able to stay the long haul. So my answer is yet another riddle. The riddle is, what is your budget? So if you have all the money in the world... I always lean towards direct mail. It, it's just, it, you're able to laser target it towards the properties that you want. And it's just long-term, very consistent. If you don't have all the money you want, you know, manual cold calling off of Zillow, expired listings, reduced listings, those type of things, that, I mean, that can be highly effective. PPC is a very, you know, it's direct response. And when you turn it on, it's on. When you turn it off, it's off. Driving for dollars is something that I still just believe heavily in for newer investors, uh, you know, driving around the neighborhoods looking for vacant or distressed properties. So I guess for new investors, it seems like cold calling, for those that are under, not under cap, but may not have enough money to devote to a six-month campaign, I lean towards uh, cold calling and uh, driving for dollars, making sure that you adhere to all regulations and rules. And if you have the capital, I recommend looking at either one of these paid PPC services like Fast Home Offer or something like that. Uh, but uh, if I had to pick one, I'd probably go with direct mail. So, hope that helps, Erica. Thank you for taking the time to write in. If you're listening, I have lunchmoney.com. Submit questions. Give me a review. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out with us today on Real Investing. If you have questions, comments, or feedback, please visit ihavelunchmoney.com. Tim can't wait to hear from you. We're always grateful for your reviews. And if you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe and share it with your friends. Remember, the business is the vehicle, not the dream. See you next time. The preceding program is provided for general education purposes only and does not constitute legal, tax, financial, investment, or other professional advice. No information contained in this program should be construed as financial, investment, or legal advice from any individual, author, host, or guest. You should always consult a financial advisor before investing. 